Hi, good day all of you. Welcome to our session. Welcome to our channel, Intelligible Tutorials. So, in this today's session, now I want to give the information regarding the dempster shoffer theory. What is the dempster shoffer theory? As the name of the scientist, uh, um, Dempster and Schaffer has invented this. So that's why according to their names, this theory was given name as the Dempster Schaffer theory and it's a mathematical theory of evidence. And it is also a very good mechanism to handle the uncertainty in the artificial intelligence. Okay, so now uh, what are the notations here we use normally while working with the dempster shuffer theory. Notation 1 is the environment e, that is the set of the objects that are uh, of interest. And the second one we can describe this frame of discernment with the help of some posets, the pro probabilities and all here we can describe with the help of this frame of discernment and some mass probability function which assign a value from 0, 1 interval and mass probability m of a portion of total mass probability that in SI to an element A of FD like this. Okay. So next, um, what are the various things we need to see regarding the dempster shuffer theory? So here probability of X and probability of not X equal to 1, it is the, it is the equation is given. Here if you have rash, that is the if you have poison when you have rash that is 0 0.3 and you don't have poison when you have rash that is 0 0.7 so 0 0.3 plus 0 0.7 is obviously one so true in the sense but neither intuitive or nor helpful so what you really mean that the probability of 0 0.3 and probability of 7 is that we don't know so for that we need to have some special kind of the measurements that plausibility and belief so we initially assign all the probability of the total set of the things we use that is frame of discernment. Let us see in this diagram it is a frame of discernment which is a power set of the given set of the environment variables. The environment is mentally retarded MR learning disabled LD and not eligible NE. So MR LD NE is a power set it is described like this. And environment with the probability with the M is equal to 1.0 probability it can be described like that that is uh, using this uh, but here also we don't know anything using this poset we cannot get any kind of the information now coming to the next one that is uh, mentally retarded um, learning disabled and not eligible all the three m is equal to 0 0.2 here m is equal to 0 0.8 okay so here also in the frame of discernment we don't know anything so we believe not mr at 0 0.7 it is uh, m is equal to 0 0.7 okay so for that we need some kind of the measurements those are belief and as well as plausibility and the certainty. Belief means the sum of mass probabilities of all the proper subsets of A. Okay, likelihood that one of its members uh, is the conclusion that is belief normally and plausibility is equal to 1 minus negation B of A and certainty can be deferred as the interval, if it, if interval in between the belief and as well as the plausibility. It expresses the range of the belief. So these three are the very important measures which are going to use in the dempster shuffer theory. Okay. So next using these methods now we are going to describe this frame of discernment that is uh, mentally retarded uh, this set that is m equal to 0 bill equal to 1 m equal to 0.3 bell equal to 0.6 m equal to 0.2 bell equal to 0.4 m equal to 0.1 bell equal to 0.4 like this finally we have the empty set. Okay, so this interval uh, that is belief and plausibility having certain assumptions. So we can describe this in the form of some set of the intervals by using some set of the values. So this but entire, interval, entire frame of discernment can be described by using the interval of 0, 1. Okay, so this intervals also having certain number of the meanings. What are the meanings uh, we will see now. So some of the evidential intervals are completely true if this belief and plausibility lies in the range of uh, uh, just a minute. See here uh, the belief and plausibility lies in the range of 1 comma 1. Here we see the certainty can be described as belief and plausibility, right? So the interval in between 0 comma 1 actually. Some of the interpretations if it is in between 0 comma 1 completely ignorant if it is 0 comma 0 completely false if it is 1 comma 1 it is completely true doubt disbelief in x it is belief not x ignorance range of uncertainty ignorance is equal to plausibility minus belief we need to support if belief comma 1 0 less than belief less than 1 tends to refute 0 comma plausibility 0 greater than plausibility less than 1 tends to support and refute that is belief comma plausibility zero less than belief less than plausibility less than one like that some of the assumptions are given here 
in the dumpster shopper theory so these intervals each and every interval can have some specific meaning each and every interval we can go through this here the belief and the plausibility can give a specific meaning to the um, certainty okay so certainty can be measured by using this particular uh, um, belief and as well as the plausibility so different ranges can define different kinds of the definitions different ranges can give different kind of the meanings here interpretations okay so what are the problems of this dempster shafer theory dempster shafer theory is highly clear explanation and rigorous foundation also so whatever uh, intervals are there we can easily express we can easily interpret the interval concepts and interval confidences it is nothing but we can say clear how much clarity it is we can say that is the uh, it is nothing but certainty about the certainty and what are the advantages and problems of this dempster shafer theory okay it is very hard to get the numbers and uh, it is a highly computational overhead we need to compute the power sets at each and every frame discernments and uh, power sets we need to construct and it may produce counter intuitive results due to the normalization when probabilities of com are combined whenever more probabilities are combined we have some different kinds of the results non intuitive determination of mass probability there is a large of probabilistic values we are having so it is a mass probability it results so all these are the overheads of the dempster shafer theory okay so these are the things relevant to the dempster shafer theory still dempster shafer theory certainly handle the uncertainty but it's not clear but it's not up to the mark so it was failed so that's why the new concept was it was not completely handled this uncertainty even it is good so it's not failed means uh, it's somewhat uh, complex and it is having somewhat uh, overheaded so that's why we can have some other kind of the things those are uh, certainty factor rules in the coming video we discuss about the certainty factor rules so this is about the dempster shafer theory of uncertainty handling mechanism of artificial intelligence if at all anybody didn't subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel intelligible tutorials thank you thank you one and all